it's Liz. Welcome to my little urban home set. These are me next to largest size. I've left the largest size in the garage on the string. I have got loads of the other sizes, you know, smaller than it. But the amount of onions I'm going to be peeling today, I don't want to faff around with a load of small ones. I'll save them for when I'm just making a meal for just me. Or do two of them and it's me and Lurch. But this is what I'm doing so far. I'm not going to show you peeling onions because I think you know how to peel onions. I'm going to make some into French onion soup and dehydrate the rest. So now that we peeled, I'm going to slice them. The recipe I'm following is again from the all new ball book of canning and preserving. I do love this book. In it, French onion soup. Right, I've got my large stock pot here. I think this holds about seven, eight litres, something like that. Big one. You've seen me use it in other things and I boil bath can in it as well. I am following the recipe exactly and it's supposed to make about um, eight pints. It's about eight one pint jars. So we've got about a tablespoon of butter, which is a good knob of butter, in there, and three pound of thinly sliced onions. Give them a quick coating of the butter. In here I've got a tablespoon of salt. Because I know I'm going to can this, I'm using me canning salt. There's also a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a teaspoon of thyme. And the thyme is out of my garden. It says dried thyme and I've got dried thyme. Yay! So we add that to it. I haven't got dry white wine, you know, the stuff that you buy. Because um, I rarely have them in. But I've got some of my Henry wine. And this actually was made from things that um, you have in your fruit bowl. That's hadn't gone off but I knew there was a bit too much for us to eat over the next few days so I bonged it all together with some sugar uh, and brewed a wine out of it so it's got a lot of oranges in it and although it looks a bit like a specimen it's actually wine Fruit bowl wine. So this should have a fruity flavour to it. It says you put two cups of that in. So there's two cups. And there's one bit for me so I could taste it, see how dry it was. Which is just how I like it. Not sweet, but not that dry that you pocket. And bring this to the boil. And then when it's boiled, you cover it and simmer it for about an hour to tender up your onions. Yeah, right, I read the recipe several times and only ever read it as being three pound of onions. Then, after I'd sorted it going, I sorted out my dehydrator with onions, and then I noticed it was actually 
four pound of onions so I've chopped some more up so there's a few red onions in there as well they might go out to the garage so I use up the onions that I've got in the house well not used up but use a lot of them and according to the recipe it should have an hour eight because I added more onions to it I, I left it doing for a lot longer than that I should say about an hour and 20 minutes something like that and now it's saying boil it what's it say exactly it says uncover and cook stirring constantly until onion is caramel coloured so that's what I'm doing and then afterwards you have the wine if anyone's wondering where Mason is at the moment during all this he's in his curry box there he is living here in the kitchen and whenever I'm in the kitchen doing different things which is quite often he just goes in there out of the way and goes to sleep which means he's not going to sleep very well tonight well they're not looking at caramel colours yet I'll keep going see to me it looks like the onions are going a bit mushy still a lot of liquid in there And it's, to me, that's going mushy. That is going mushy to me. So, I'm, I'm leaving it at that. Right. Still says, add a glass of wine. Well, a cup of the wine, so that's going in anyway. I'll cool it down a bit. And we'll bring it back up to the boil. It says cook for a further two minutes. I don't think that needs it. Because it's getting mushy. the stock that I made the other day I'm going to add that in 3 litres of it so that will definitely cool it down one two and three dark caramel coloured hmm. so we'll see we'll bring that to the boil and see from there right now it's come to a, a boil it says basically simmer for 15 minutes so put it down to the simmer and put my timer on and that'll simmer for 15 minutes during which time my canner, pressure canner will warm up, my uh, lids and seals for my tattlers uh, are already on the go. Now this isn't going as dark as I wanted it and I'm used to onion soup as dark. So, taste it, it's not too bad. But I've got this gravy browning in. 
so I'm going to just put a little touch of that in to darken it up a bit but also to give it extra flavour is Worcestershire sauce It does look better. So more as dark as I want it. So I suppose altogether I may have used about a teaspoon of this gravy browning. You've all seen me canning things up before, putting um, whatever I make in the jars. And I've told you about the canning process, allowing the seam to vent and processing time and everything. So I don't go bother to do that today. If you need to see them, go back on previous videos that I've made uh, on canning different things. And um, it'll tell you about that. I know I haven't got any asbestos mouth. I'm going to wait till this cools and then taste it. Mm. The onions had too long to cook because they just break down in the mouth. But other than that, it tastes nice. Well, can it up and see how it goes from here? See you in a bit. There we have eight jars of onion soup. All the tapwell well lids, all good seals. It made a bit more than eight jars, so I've um, put in one in the freezer. So I've got a frozen one as well. So that's nine meals. Yay! Dead like a mason. Mason! Thank you. Bye. It's a perfect.